Number 10. Kildonan Park The lovely Kildonan Park contains some of the oldest trees in the province as well as magnificent flower beds and a hansel and gretel which is hut. The park's 99 acres are divided up into 2.7 kilometers of recreational pathways, most of which follow the Red River. The location is perfect for bird watchers, Rainbow Stage, Canada's longest running outdoor theater and is located in Kildonan Park. Number 9. Manitoba Children's Museum The Manitoba Children's Museum is located in the Forks in a cutting-edge building. There are 12 interactive permanent galleries inside the unusual structure that will interest kids of all ages. The galleries include the milk machine which has a large cow cube you can really enter and the engine house which has a ton of gears and levers for kids to use. Number 8. St. Boniface Cathedral With its founding in 1818, St. Boniface Cathedral is the Western Canada's oldest cathedral. The structure was once regarded as the Manitoba's finest example of French Romanesque architecture, but fires forced multiple reconstruction even though the current cathedral keeps the original facade. The cemetery is Western Canada's oldest Catholic cemetery and is located in a lovely park. Number 7. Fort White Alive Fort White Alive, a 259-hectare property, is renowned for its five lakes, lush parkland and bog boardwalks. A burrowing owl display and an aquarium can be seen at the interpretive center. Visitors can observe the vision heard outside, go to bird feeding stations, see the sword house or watch the prairie dogs at the prairie dog village while they play. Number 6. The Exchange District National Historic Site Winnipeg's Exchange District is characterized by turn-of-the-century commercial Victorian and Edwardian architecture. Its name is a reflection of the numerous financial organizations that sprang up in the Winnipeg during the 1880s and 1920s. The Exchange District has recently experienced a renaissance as former warehouse, banks and commercial spaces have been transformed into upscale stores, restaurants and fashion boutiques and art galleries. Number 5. Winnipeg Art Gallery The Winnipeg Art Gallery, located in a cutting-edge structure resembling a ship's bow, is home to 25,000 works of classic and contemporary art created by Canadian, American, European and Inuit artists. The previous Inuit Art Gallery has been renamed Kumachok and will be brand new in 2021. Over 14,000 works of Inuit art are housed in this brand new 40,000 square foot structure with breathtaking architecture. Number 4. Legislative Building In 1919, the majestic neoclassical legislative building in Winnipeg was finished. It was constructed from native tidal stone and Italian marble. There are mysterious numerical codes, Freemason symbols and concealed hieroglyphics throughout the structure. Weekly tours are available and they are led by an expert in architectural history. The opulent grounds are decorated with statues, monuments and well-kept gardens. Number 3. Assiniboine Park and Zoo Assiniboine Park, Winnipeg's oldest park, spans 445 hectares of lush lawns, historic trees, cultural amenities and an English garden. Within its grounds is the Assiniboine Park Zoo, which is home to a vast range of fauna, flora and animals. There is a focus on northern adopted animals including a large number of polar bears, but there are also some exotic species like red kangaroos and Siberian tigers. Number 2. The Manitoba Museum The province's natural and human history is the main focus on the Manitoba Museum. The science gallery and planetarium, which is extremely interactive, introduces the expanse of the night sky on its doomed screen, while the nine permanent galleries highlight the best that the province has to offer. A 95 million years old fossilized pillosaur, a display that stimulates the northern lights, and a Hudson Bay fur trade post recreation are some of the museum highlights. Number 1. Canadian Museum for Human Rights The most modern landmark in Winnipeg symbolizing human rights in Canada and around the world is the recent addition to the city's cultural landscape. The museum is renowned for both its magnificent physical design and its original approach to telling tales about human rights. You enter the museum on the ground floor and make your way up via six levels, stopping by 11 exhibitions. Despite being contentious in many respects, it is without a doubt a significant part of Canadian culture. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.